Church of God of Holiness in Chicago, Illinois. I want to tell you an experience that happened to me 45 years ago. It's a bit late. I didn't hear of the other witnesses that are witnessing about death experiences and, and uh, heavily uh, out of the body experiences. But at the age of 21, I was with child. I'm, I'm sorry, the age of 29, I was with child. And I, I was also a high blood pressure patient. And my pressure began to bother me. So I drove myself to the clinic my husband was working. And when I got there, they uh, rushed me to the hospital. It was a clinic hospital, but they rushed me to the hospital section and placed me in the labor room where the doctor induced labor. And I was there for a, a short while. And then a nurse came and checked me and they took me right away to the, deli uh, to the uh, uh, delivery table. And um, they found that the child had died before delivery. So the team of the pediatricians was working so hard to save me because the blood pressure was just out of control. And as they began to have problems, because there was no help from a living unborn child to even move. They, just, just, they just decided right away even uh, to give me gas, which was not good at that time for how a person whose blood pressure is very high. So as they placed a, a rubber mask over my mouth and nose and began to turn on the gas and began to inhale it, that I felt as if I was sinking going down lower and lower and something happened they were doing and I could not speak or move but I was able by the, the help of the Lord to let out a groan and when I did that they heard me and they said uh, uh, she's not out she's not out give her more give her more and they turned the gas on again and at that point I seemed to shrink smaller and smaller and going further down and I prayed inside a quick prayer just in my mind saying Lord deliver me out of the hands of the doctors these doctors and shortly after I prayed that prayer I heard the voice of my hypertension doctor walking through the uh, delivery room door and he said what are you doing to my patient? Leave her alone. Everything will happen of itself. Normally. And they stopped. And when they stopped, I felt a release from my body. And it was the, the, un, it was the child who was no longer alive. And they rushed me to the intensive care section. Right away, uh, they, they gave me the IV, began to uh, inject me in my hip with, uh, uh, give me injections every five minutes. And they began to um, administer dextro and water into my veins. I was so ill that I could, could not even lay flat. They placed me on a 45 degree angle on that cot. And my head, I had excruciating pains. My head was as if it was one big heartbeat, just just booming. And then I would feel a very sharp pain, move, pain move across my brain. Then it would come down in the forehead, that sharp pain, and seems to if looking for a place to relieve the pressure. And my eyes would bulge as if it was trying to come out through my eyes. Then it would move back across my vein, my, my brains. And I would pray and say, Lord, deliver me. Because he had done that so many times when I was having a blood, per, uh, uh, a blood pressure, a high blood pressure attack. And uh, later... 
I felt, you know, first of all, before the, uh, this, uh, the doctors would come, just one at a time, and just stand and stare at me. And then they wouldn't say anything, he wouldn't say anything to me, he would go back. Then I noticed another one would come and uh, just stand there and look at me and go back. Now, I was not supposed to move or speak. The blood pressure was just that high. But I thought to myself, I was suffering so, saying, I said within myself, the next doctor that come, I'm going to say three words. No, I'm sorry, it was two. My head. So an another doctor came and he stood and he was looking at me. And uh, I said, my head. And uh, he said, Mrs. Mack, he said, we have done all we can do for you. He said, perhaps when enough of this, speaking of the IV solution, get into your body. He said, perhaps when the high blood, uh, uh, enough of this solution, enter into your body. And that's all he said and walked away. So as I laid there on the cot, on a 45 degree angle, I felt a, a strange presence. And let me tell you something. Amen. When the spirit of death walk comes for you, you will know it. It's unlike any other feeling. And I'm telling you this because it's recorded in the Word of God. Hebrews 9th chapter and the 27th verse. Read it in your own Bibles. Those of you who have one. The Lord has it, has it recorded through the Apostle Paul. Telling the human race, no particular group, race, a nation, that it, as it is appointed unto man, wants to die. After death comes the judgment. You can read that in your Bible. Meaning that death is not the end of human life, which I will give you scriptures that you may go into your Bible and search this out for yourself. This is why Jesus came to save our souls. But nevertheless, this presence came. And it, it, was, it came up on my feet and began to move. When I felt it, I shook. And I was not supposed to. I shook my feet. And when I, made, when I shook my feet, the nurse, I didn't realize uh, that she was sitting somewhere in that room. She rushed over to me and... Uh, began to pump up, you know, to take the pressure because they kept the, uh, the old type of uh, upper blood pressure apparatus on my left arm at all time, the, the type that stands on the floor. And uh, she pumped it up and she rebuked me. She says, look what you've done. She said, it has gone up a few more points. I wouldn't open my mouth because I wasn't supposed to talk to try to explain why. On the right arm, the IV was there. They had tubes in the other part of my body. So I know that this was not some, uh, what we say, vision, because I was connected in about at least three places. So she went, sat down or wherever she was, and I laid there in the dark. And um, the present came again. And it came up on my feet, and it began to move up my legs, upward. It began to move around my knee. Then when it got to my knees, it began to come up around my thighs and, and my waist. And I was very tense. My mind was running. And uh, when it hit my waist, I, I, was, I was very disturbed. And, I thought to myself, I said, if I'm dying, uh, you know, uh, there's so much rush through my mind.